Tom. Yeah. We've got, a, we've got ourselves a problem, mate. What is it? Um, you know, we took it for a drive. Yeah. And you know how it was going okay and everything was all right, okay? Yeah. This is actually right now filming this the next weekend. And one thing I noticed was that the timing was just a little bit out and it was just breathing a bit heavy. So what I've done is I've just, I resettled the timing and did all that, right? And, and what you do is in order to get it to top dead center, I put it in fourth gear and was just rocking it on compression to bring it around to the right markers. That's all cool. There's nothing special about doing that. Took it out of gear, set everything up, went to start it and it made a really weird misfire, like the firing order was wrong or something like that. And now, um, and then the starter motor just clicked out and it wouldn't start anymore. So now, you know, like me saying this to you, mate, mm -hmm. we got a locked up motor. Oh yeah. That's the motor's locked. That's not good. Concerned about this, mate. I'm really, really, really concerned. I'm sure there's a Volkswagen person sitting out there. Okay, so that's on there, right? So this is a 1300 low compression motor. It should just turn over. Watch this. Meh. It's not turning over. I'll try the other way. Look at this. Mate, that's locked up. Mm. If that's locked up and we've had a rod go, piston dig into the bore something like that we're talking about a whole new motor yeah but i've got a theory right i've got a theory i, I run i run a few volkswagen guys and um i talked to a few drag race guys talked to a few normal car guys just in the network and what can cause this to lock up i just i i have this feeling that maybe the starter motor has totally crapped itself out it's got a little bush that sits in the um in the bell housing that it's totally crapped itself out kicked out sideways and the gears grabbed onto the flywheel and it's not letting it move right and i'm crossing my fingers that that's what it's going to be so i think what we'll do is we'll jack it up we'll try and get that starter motor out it's not that hard to do that and i am hoping mate that we don't have to put another motor in this yeah neither i don't work going into this one So if you're like me and you haven't had much experience working on Volkswagens or know much about them, obviously the engine is right at the very back and then at the back where the engine is, the gearbox sits just in front and then there's a big rod that runs forward to the gear shifter and most rear wheel drive engines, so rear engined vehicles are like that, um, <laughs> dare I say it, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, all that sort of stuff. But the humble Volkswagen is exactly the same. But the starter motor, let me grab this little guy here. Uh, here's our engine right at the very back. And our gearbox is over here. And this is the shaft coming in. And you can see, this is our starter motor right here. So what we have to do is we have to undo these bolts, pull it out. Because the flywheel, for want of a better reason, the flywheel sits about here. And if that starter motor has pushed out and jammed that flywheel, well, that's why the engine would have locked up. Um, and I'm going through my mind, there was no knocking, so I don't think it was a rod. If it snapped the head off a valve, then the other cylinders would still be running, and it'd only be running on three. Um, so, I think it's a starter mode. Okay, well, I have just pulled the starter motor out. I haven't tried to turn the engine over yet, but I've noticed, have a listen to this. That's not supposed to do that. This starter motor has actually got a massive amount of movement and play. I don't know if you can see that actually in the shaft that runs through. So the, the, the solenoid kicks this out and turns it over and turns the motor over and it just shouldn't have that amount of play in it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we don't have a locked up motor that it's about to turn over. So let's have a shot. 
All right, mate. Let's have a shot. I hope this works. I really hope this works. Starter motor's out. I'm going to rotate this, and hopefully it's going to move. We get to purchase it. Oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> yes, it did it, mate. That's it good. It. That is outstanding. Wow. Okay, well, that just saved us a motor. Um, I thought we had absolutely cooked the motor then, so that's brilliant news. Oh, that's good news. Mate, I am stoked at that. Okay, all right, well, I normally do this at the end, but I'm gonna do it straight away, because um, there's a few people that helped us out with that. That is killer. Uh, Ray Box up in Queensland, he um, listened to me whinge. Thank you, Ray. John Roberts, um, who did the paint job on the, uh, on the, on the uh, oh God, I'm so excited, I can't even get the words out. On the Chrysler, who's just an all-round nice guy. Thank you very much. And Phil Burdett, I think it is, that's it? Bennett. Bennett, Bennett, I keep calling you Burdett, I don't know why, Phil Bennett. Um, we were at the footy last night and uh, we had a good chat about it as well. So those three guys that helped us out. Tom, it's free. Oh, let's get the other start mode. All right, so we have actually run into a problem. And here's the problem. This is the old starter motor, right? It's a smaller, more modern starter motor. This starter motor is looks like a very much an older, original starter motor. But if you have a look, and you can bring the camera down here, Thomas, it's got two little um, output shafts and they're very different size. This is the older one, and it's quite thick and quite heavy duty. This is the small, thin, and new one. This is the one that just crapped out, okay? So in the bell housing, where the uh, gearbox meets the engine, there's this little bush, okay? And this bush is in pretty good condition. Ah! Normally they get a bit flogged out. And you can see on the old one, it sits in there perfectly. So it supports the end of the starter motor when this gets thrown out and starts the engine. This bush, however, will not go over the end of the old starter motor that I have got here. So I think what we need to do is we need to take these two starter motors, throw them in the creek, never see them ever again, and get ourselves a new starter motor. What do you reckon, Tom? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Stan? Dan? You're not very good at rhyming, eh? No. <laughs> well, apart from project time, the best time in the O2 garage is when you get boxes of treats of brand new parts. And uh, we have got ourselves the handbrake cable, the one that broke on the driver's side. So we've got a new handbrake cable there and one of the most important parts for the car that we're going to need moving forward. We have got ourselves a starter motor, but not any starter motor. This comes from one of the uh, the transaxle ones that's got an internal bush. So we don't have that drive shaft that sits actually in the back of the bell housing with the silly bushes and so forth. So that one came from Ray Box up there in Queensland. Thank you very much for Ray. And the handbrake cable came from these guys, the Australian V-Dub Performance Centre. Um, so do yourself a favour if you need Volkswagen parts, it's your one-stop V-Dub shop. And check this out, they also sent lollies as well. How good's that? Mmm. Party mix. Handbrake is fixed, finished, and done. You can fit, get that one out of the way. But this is the next one to go in. This is the starter motor. I'm gonna chuck this one in, wire it up, and we should be able to fire up the bug, and hopefully go cruising. So, I'll bring you up to speed as to where we currently are at, Mr. TJ. So the engine has been freed up. We know the engine's freed up. There's no problems there. And we worked out that it had a, a six-volt flywheel on it. 
after trying a couple of 12 volt starter motors, I managed to find a six volt, a good one, put the bush into the bell housing. You can see I'm becoming a bit of a Volkswagen nerd. And mate, that's now done. All we need to do now is chuck a battery in it and then see if it starts. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Let's go! All right, buddy, here we go. Now, it's been a while stuffing around with all the starter motor stuff, so um, you go to the back and I'll see if we can kick it over. Sunday morning, I don't know, any given Sunday at some stage and after, I reckon it's been four starter motors, you can hear the bugs running at the back, Tom's sitting here, Yeah. Are you ready to go? Yeah, sure I am. And this has always been and will always be the measure of the O2 garage, is taking our cars to coffee and cars, so we're going to cannonball down to the coast to a place called Beck's Bakehouse, for cars on the coast, we're going to pick up Uncle Mark with his hot rod one tonner along the way, and hopefully we'll have a good day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.